Welcome back to Theme Park Blizzard, and yesterday we had plenty of Theme Park news. I made a whole live stream about it. You can go check it out um, with the entertainment and stuff. And of course, I did a universal update because it's a big news there with Horror Nights starting. But something that was in the news that I wanted to get make its own video for is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, uh, a reporter, someone, some chief executive, chief communications officer or something, uh, they test road Guardians of the Galaxy and they leaked that we can enjoy it on a Memorial Day weekend. And they quickly deleted the tweet. So, while not confirmed that you can enjoy this Memorial Day weekend, it's highly likely that this will open on Memorial Day weekend, which is in a couple months from now, and will probably be officially announced at the shareholders of meeting on March 9th for Disney. So, we will be watching that for sure. But, something that did happen yesterday was Disney released this new concept art of the load area, and it looks gorgeous. This is the concept art. You see a train in the station. That's a takeoff and do its backwards launch. It takes off, looks like moves up, takes a right, and goes and does its backwards launch. This is an actual real photo of them working on the station, putting the finishing touches on there. And you can see them. Uh, the the plays the little sections where they have you wait behind the airlock gates. Highly themed. I love it. Again, this is one of my most or not my most. This is my most anticipated new Disney project coming to any of the park any of the parks and resorts. Because like here in Disneyland, we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which we kind of we know majorly what that is about. This is just a unique coaster that we can't find anywhere else. And of course, it's indoors, so we really can't see the, what the track layout looks like besides what they show us. And um, it's even, you know, it makes it even cooler. I mean, it has a reverse launch. We don't know the speed or anything yet, but um, th this has the, the potential to be a very, very cool coaster for uh, not just Epcot, but Walt Disney World, Guardians of the Galaxy. And that means Guardians will have two great rides with Mission Breakout and Cosmic Rewind. I cannot wait to see a POV of this thing. I'll be doing, of course, a breakdown of that POV when it occurs. And... I definitely want to try to get to Orlando this summer to try to go ahead and ride some of this stuff. I mean, this is incredible. This is my most, uh, again, I'm really looking forward to this project. It's incredible because it's so tall and massive. Really big. Tron, on the other hand, is not listed to open this year, but maybe open in 2023 or late 2022. Uh, in the other Epcot stuff, Moana Journey of Water, I know they're working on it. Some permits have been filed, but not much else has really been happening with Journey of Water or any of the other Epcot projects, the Vest Festival Center, and stuff like that. May Poppins, of course, is canceled, and much of Epcot remains a construction zone. Um, of course, they, they did just start the Flower and Garden Festival. But yeah, um, I cannot wait just just a couple months, and, and this will be probably the same day or same weekend that Fantasmic reopens or returns to Disneyland Park. And that's just incredible in its own right. So yeah, it's going to be a, a nice, <clears throat> nice... Oh, summer for Disney parks here in Disneyland and Disney World. With the opening of new things and new entertainment returning, or old entertainment returning. Uh, <clears throat> but some shows and cases we haven't had for years, like the uh, Dis Disneyland Forever. So let me know. Are you excited for Guardians of the Galaxy? Let me know in the comments below. Will you be writing it on day one? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Like this video. Uh, if you liked this video, press that thumbs up button, and as always, have a fantastic day.